Hello everyone, this is RaySpace, and I'm here to present a mod for Kerbal Space Program 1.12 that is not my own. Uh, this is a mod by Pekka, who previously made the Starship Super Heavy version that I usually use, and this time Pekka is offering a plugin. And this is the Warp Thrust plugin that I've been using in recent videos to allow my ships to continue applying thrust during time warp. So that's very useful for ion engines and other low thrust high efficiency engines so that we can time warp while they do their burns. Uh, this allows us to go to far flung places like even our other star systems as I've shown. Uh, it is something that other plugins have done before like persistent thrust and I used to use KSP Interstellar for this because it has its own implementation of the same idea but uh, Pekka's version is much more reliable as far as I can tell. So I think this is a very good thing and will finally allow people to use ion engines efficiently. I don't know how well it will work with like Principia or anything, I haven't tried that yet. Uh, so you download this zip and this includes more than just the DLL which is the plugin. What we see inside is a folder called Pekka's Mods which you will put into your game data folder. And then in parts in the Falcon 9 folder it has the Starlink satellite because Starlink has ion engines, it has Krypton ion engines, and so Pekka decided to use Starlink as the test subject for the Warp Thrust module. And otherwise, the module, the real thing that you need is this plugin here. So you could conceivably, if you want, just drop that into your folder and nothing else, and that would be enough. When you configure engines for it, and you are going to have to configure which engines you want to use with it, uh, you will go into the configurations of that engine, whatever it is. It can be the RO configurations or it could be the main configuration. So you can use this in stock as well, presumably. And all you need to do is add this to it somewhere at the bottom. So module, curly bracket, name equals warp thrust, close curly bracket and we'll see what that does in a moment. So that's all you need, nothing else. It doesn't have to be RO, uh, and that will give you the Warp Thrust mod, and as long as you have SAS on, you will be able to apply thrust during time warp. All right, well, with due respect to Pekka's Starlink, I am going to test it out with this nuclear light bulb, this closed cycle gas core nuclear engine instead, and this is something that I will introduce further in a different video on interplanetary trips, fast interplanetary trips. But as you can see, this has a 1 hour and 49 minute burn time, which could be manageable uh, even if we didn't have the plug-in. But having the plug-in could certainly help. It's affecting our orbit quite a lot. Let me turn on SAS. If you have the plug-in working, It'll have the Warp Thrust module listed here. I don't know what all the functions are. I just leave them on default. And so we have this engine going and I'm gonna put it to full power. Actually at full power because it gets better efficiency like that, it has a burn time of four hours, which is not so great. Uh, so, but then that's for 40,000 meters per second, which is great. So I'm gonna have a whole prograde here and we should like spiral out like this. And so it continues working. Now, I don't know if some other mod can interfere with it. And uh, probably since this is version 1.0 there will be troubleshooting. I don't think we'll really spiral out. This has enough thrust that it's just going to get us on exit. But you can see it's working during time warp. Um, even very fast time warp it seems to be consistent and so yeah it's working with this engine just fine and I'll leave it there. So with this plugging away in warp still holding prograde here I'll say thank you for watching hope you enjoyed this video if you did please do press like if you have any comments or suggestions please leave them in the comment section below and I'll see you next time.